What's up, guys? My name is Brandon, and welcome to Audio Addiction. We have GSD with us, and they can say their names and what they do in the band. Hi, uh, I'm Chase, and I... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> can we have another take? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm Chase, I uh, play guitar and sing. Uh, my name's Matt. I play uh, guitar. I'm Dom. I play drums. Scott, bassist. <laughs> You guys sound so enthusiastic to be here. Anyway, first question, first question, guys. How'd you start out GSD? How'd you form? How'd you form GSD? Of course. Question. <laughs> uh, well, basically, um, we used to be like a piano rock band. So kind of like something corporate. And that was like in 2009. <laughs> we had a completely different lineup. And the only like... Real original number is me now. It's just kind of like I just kind of kept the project name going just because I didn't never felt like changing it. I got gotcha. you. So he was our uh, auxiliary percussionist for a while. Yeah. And okay. then he um, kind of hopped on bass at one point, and then <laughs> people just started leaving and coming in. So now this is like a pretty stable lineup. I don't know. It's like it's messy and uninteresting. But we did start as a piano rock band. Um, me and this uh, guy Matt Mans, who's one of my other best friends. Gotcha. But we kind of just like, I don't know, fell out and I decided to do more or less stuff that I kind of wanted to do for a while anyway. Gotcha, gotcha. My next question is, uh, what are some of your musical influences? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I would say... Yeah, I mean, like, I want... Yeah, you guys can... <laughs> I would say... Uh, at least for me, and I'm sure that they would agree, uh, Failure is a 90s band, if, if you've ever heard of it. Uh, they're they're incredible. Um, Hum is another band from the 90s, similar to Failure. Uh, they're incredible. We've just seen them in concert. Yeah, that's good. Um, they're they're, they're a, a type of band, at least for me, that when I heard them, it kind of it weirdly changed how I saw music. So, what do you, what other bands do you guys that? Um, I mean, we have like fan foundational bands that like are like permanent influences. Bands okay. like Saves the Day oh, well, and nice. like and like Jimmy Eat World and like the Get Up Kids. Like bands that just like will always like be in our DNA. Gotcha. But it's just like we're really into like we're you know what I mean. Like I also we're really into '90s stuff in general. Like My Bloody Valentine, Slow Dive. Um, and then I really like, um, and you know, we, we all kind of like listen to our, each other's things, but I've been really into like 80s, like post-punk and stuff, like okay. New Order and Joy Division and Jesus and the Mary Chain and all that, you know, and no. you know, well, generally listen to that stuff. And Dom comes from a completely different yeah, background. I'm, I'm completely like out of the blue. Like I come from more like a more like hardcore or oh, nice. metal background. Oh yeah. Like bands like. You know, like, uh, just kind of recently, but like, knocked loose, black flag, nice, nice, threat, dead Kennedys, and like, which I, yeah, he kind of, he kind of introduced me to like a lot of like newer music when I joined the band. Like when I when I was looking for a band, I was looking to join like a hardcore band, probably. And I wasn't, I didn't even know that emo was like a thing. I thought <laughs> it was a scene rather than like a genre. I was like, that's a genre. <laughs> it opened me up to like a whole new like like a like thing. Like I was just listening yeah. to like fucking bring me the horizon and shit and then now like i mean i still listen to them but now i listen to like like hum and failure and like modern baseball nice. and all those other great bands because of these fellers nice all right uh my next question is uh kind of in relation to that uh what have been some bands that have been jamming more recently oh um the new jimmy world records yeah really excellent. i don't think uh any of you guys have heard it yet? Uh, I, have li I listen to a little bit at work. I I personally, it's not necessarily recently, but I guess within the last year, Citizen just put out a new yeah, album. Yeah, they're great. That's really good. It's kind of different than what they had been doing. Um, I just like the album in in an entirety, just like going up and down. I, I enjoy that. Yeah. I just, like I said, like I just got into to modern baseball, and I've been jamming out to Holy Ghost. Such a good album. Nice. 
retrack is pretty perfect. I was gonna say, what you been listening to? I have Boys Don't Cry by The Cure in the play. Nice. Right oh yeah. Classic. Classic. Yeah, that's what yeah. Also, uh, I actually re- started re-listening to uh, Starting Line to Say It Like You Mean It. Yeah, that's excellent. So good, it's so good. I went to the the uh, ten year anniversary of that, and that. Oh was, sweet. Yeah. I missed out on that one. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was excellent, but very like you know nostalgic. But of course. You, but now, but now that you're like a, you know being into music and stuff like that, I mean being a musician, you like listen closely. Like, all right, it was actually a little more, you know, there was a little more nuance than you thought. Yeah. Like, you know, regular pop punk or whatever. There was like some some other like little things that they put in there. No, but, that's that's great. Yeah, I can totally get down subscribe with the whole like you listen to things differently when you play music and stuff. But um, my next question is a fun one, guys. If you could pick a song to cover, what would it be? Okay, let's we'll go around in a circle. <laughs> That's does, it, does anyone have anything off the top of their head? <laughs> no, no, off the top of my head. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let me think. Let me think. I know I can. Let me just think of something. Because <laughs> I'll always like I pass by songs. I'm like, oh, that'd be cool. Oh, like, I like, would yeah. probably do. Uh. Pro- I'd probably do like magnified from failure. Mm. That would be a pretty epic one. That okay. I think my for me personally, I'd probably want to do in, um, embracing facts by Into It Over It. Nice. Okay. That's a good one. Okay. Scott, you got anything? <laughs> <laughs> Just <a> quiet one. <laughs> uh. I'm going to say, I mean, this is just one that I've always liked, I guess. I, I don't know if it's ever, you know, obviously these are just hypothetical, but uh, <laughs> Firefly by uh, Saves the Day. Nice. Okay. Okay. Good one. I can, that's a good one. I like that one. Uh, next question, guys. Favorite food to eat? Oh, yes. oh, man. Pizza. Pizza. Okay. Probably hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> or burrito. Yeah, I mean, like... Junk food. I like... Pizza's my favorite food, not even for, like, taste reasons, but for the other aspects of it. Okay. Just the fact that it's, like, infinite in combination. Yeah. And even bad pizza's still pretty good. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's true. Yeah, you're right. Pizza pizza as a uh, concept rather than pizza the food itself. That is my favorite. Yeah, like... Mm. Because there's so many different kinds. That's like saying, oh, I love America. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, well, that's the topic for another day. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're approaching that. That's what you're having. <laughs> uh, next question, guys. If you could play another musical instrument besides the one you play now, what would it be? Uh, drums. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guitar. I wish I could play drums. <laughs> I can finagle my way through it, sort of, but I wish I was stellar at it. That would be, be pretty good. Okay. I could play like legit, like a stringed instrument, like a viola or something like that. All right, all right. It'd be very useful because like session uh, musicians are really <laughs> expensive. I'm sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like I mean, guitar. Like I mean, I could play power chords, but like I wish I could like actually like play guitar, like more than just a couple chords. And gotcha. Then just wildly strumming the strings when I can't get a chord right, and then throwing the guitar. Ah. <laughs> That's great. Um, nice. Good then we choice. could have like a little duo. Different, yeah. <laughs> could be yellow card. Tra- tra- yeah, you could be yellow card. There you go. Exactly. Pretty much. I mean, they're breaking up. Someone's got to fill the Somebody's shoes. gonna fill the shoes. Yeah, there you go. Now you gotta pick up a violin. You can create yellow card 2.0 or something. Uh, red card. Red. <laughs> any color, any colored card, pretty much. Um. Next question, guys. In your opinion, who puts on a great live show and a favorite show that you've been to? Great question. Um, who puts on a great live show and a favorite? Okay. Uh, what do you love? <laughs> <laughs> Probably the worst one. Um, oh, man. I don't know. We just went to a, to a couple of shows. Right? Yeah, we yeah. went to... Um, hum failure. was excellent. Oh yeah, failure. Failure. Failure was good. For me, failure probably has put the best live show on that I've like seen. It was just so like professional. Yeah. Like the way that it was, it just felt like really, really well, well done. 
Correct. Some like it was like a performance rather than just like you know you're at a concert. You're at a con- yeah, I get you. And then um, my, my but my favorite concert actually I saw Blink One Eighty Two when they still had Tom when they played it. Ooh. Yeah. So that was like that's I don't know, nice. Two thousand twelve. Like I, nothing will ever. I don't think so. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I got that. Like that. Oh. Probably the fam- my best show I've ever been to. I went to it over the summer. It was it was Blink 182's uh, most recent tour with them. Um, the Data Remember. Damn it! I missed that one too because so, we were supposed to go when they were going to do the show in AC, but oh like the God, yeah. Hurricane Matthew McConaughey. Was- <laughs> <laughs> that was the same one I was going to go to, and then I got like an email like the day of, and they were like, "Oh, can't do it. We got a hurricane." And I was just like, "I went." I was. Fortunate enough to have gone to uh, the one in Camden that they had. Oh, nice, nice. And, I mean, yeah, it was sc- <laughs> yes, it was even scary by the fact that when I went to go like home, my car, my battery was dead. And oh I was shit! Getting stranded in Camden. Was- <laughs> the show itself was pretty great. Um, I mean, All Time Low is a band, obviously. Didn't yes. really pay much band. attention. A A band, yeah. I love a day to remember, and yeah. um, they played their new song Paranoia and. I I got very hurt. <laughs> but Blink-182 was a lot, like, not that I didn't think that they were going to, like, I didn't think they weren't going to not be good, but they were just a lot better than I thought they were going to be. Okay. So they didn't have Tom. Nice. Okay, that's good to know. Scotty Pippen. I'll throw out there a band we haven't mentioned. Um, bands I really like, I think, puts on a great show called A Great Big Pile Oh, oh yes. yeah. Yes, 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 so yes. sorry. Praise it. <laughs> yeah, we... So and one of the best shows I've been to, or at least one of my favorites, is probably um, when Saves a Day and the Get Up Kids <gasps> co okay, okay. I just, like, cried on the inside thinking about that. <laughs> that was, that was probably, okay, that's, like, that might have been second best show I've ever been <laughs> That was so good. Just because it's kind of, like, one of those things, like, when, like, bands that you're like, oh, they should totally tour together. It's like, oh, that's never going to happen. Yeah, that's the best feeling, dude. You know, and then it just happened, and it was fucking incredible. And it was uh, Saves the Day's first headlining show in, like, five years in New Jersey. Yeah. Oh. Firefly, you couldn't even hear them. It was fucking amazing. So. That's awesome. I'm allowed to curse, right? Yes. All right, cool. You're <laughs> totally fine. I mean, I could bleep it out if I really wanted to, but I yeah, right, right, I feel right. like it's, it's better natural. But anyway, uh, next question, guys. If you guys could compile a dream tour, who would be on it? Damn it! Why do we make such hard? Local bands? local bands? I think you can put local bands on there. Yeah. I think I think we should shoot for the stars, right? Isn't that kind Hell, of? Oh yeah, like... there you go. Exactly. I mean, it's whatever you guys feel like. You know, that's the whole point. Okay, um, I'm gonna say first, you know, Joe Biden. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> on tour with us. Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden and the Secret Service. It, oh my God. <laughs> okay, no, all right, for real. Okay, we can all. Can we just like go around and like name a band that we would pick for? Yeah, the tour that's that that's that's usually the uh, concept. But oh, you know, you okay. could pick your own if you wanted. Sure is on. Okay, I would want. I mean, <coughs> I'd probably want to go on tour with Saves the Day. Damn, you took mine. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> that's, like I've seen, like, I've, I like I've seen them so many times. They you know, they remember my name. But, you know, yeah, I just like the whole uh, New Jersey DNA. Oh, know. yeah, of course. You know what I mean? So that's who I would bring. And then uh, I would bring Title Fight. Mm. Ooh, okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that would be good. Classic. <laughs> I like that. Title Fight. I really like that. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to go back to what I've been saying because I've been jamming with them a lot lately. I'd, I'd bring along Modern Baseball because they're really good. Classic. I like them okay. a lot. Represent Drexel. Yeah, right, Drexel. Something. Yay. Jimmy World. Yes. Ooh, okay. I like that lineup a lot. I yeah, feel so Jimmy saves the day, title fight, um Modern Baseball, Modern Modern baseball. baseball and us. Ooh, okay. Sold out. Sold out. <laughs> Skip that random. I think like yeah. people who listen to those bands would all go to the same show and like at least three of them. Yeah, totally. Except I... hate and hate us. <laughs> <laughs> um my next question is guys from since you're from Jersey, uh, what are some favorite venues you either like to play at or just go to shows at? Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I used to run a house venue. Oh, did you? Nice. Okay. Called the Poop Deck, which was both one of my favorite places to play and uh, 
seashores to have people come to but my house burned down so oh, can't <laughs> do those anywhere which is why i kind of like let out a little cry I was just oh my like, god oh, no. that is like, terrible it's too hard other than that even though people would probably disagree i really do like starland ballroom that's oh, it okay Star especially uh, now that it got renovated probably i've probably been to the starland ballroom more than like i like these past like three months than i have in like the past five years because oh, wow. there's so many good shows there that i just keep going okay what's okay. that place that we saw may at the highland the, uh, no that was, was in new york that was in new york but these are yeah. this is the new jersey oh person. sorry i mean it could be any venue it doesn't matter i just said new jersey since you guys are kind of local so you're right i'll 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 x that <laughs> that from me you can um, that out, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm not a big concert goer, so I don't, I don't have a, a pick for myself. What about you, Scott? I don't think you I have think? a favorite venue. The Rat. <laughs> yeah, the Rat. The Rat's cool. The rat. <laughs> when it still existed. Yeah, yeah, when it still existed, TC and J had. I don't know if you remember that TC and J had like a little venue called the Rat. Okay. Okay. And like they would get everyone. Like every Tuesday, there would be like the craziest band playing. Like Modern Baseball played there like three times. Transits played there. Such Gold. Um, 21, pilots. 21 pilots played there to like 10 people. Oh. Yeah, when they first started out, there was like <sighs> there. That's nuts. I know exactly. Now they're like what selling. They're out they're huge. Work. They're huge. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah, exactly. He like did the backflip off the piano and stuff like that. That's really, crazy. That's really cool. They're about to blow up. I think you know what I mean. And then they did. They did yeah, definitely. They did. That's but, crazy. But it was crazy because like basically the rat is pretty much just, um, like. Our, it, it was when I went. It was like our cafe, and it had a stage. <laughs> people would like, you know what I mean? When depending on the show, people would like stage dive. I remember one time. I think it was when Such Gold was playing. This like really, really heavy guy tried to crowd surf. I'm like, oh god! Like, kicked to me like in the dick, but not in the balls. <laughs> in the, like in the calf. So, like wasn't it was like the weirdest pain I've ever. Felt. <laughs> like Usually, a sexual pain. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> when you get kicked in the balls. But this oh time, God. Like, so I was confused about how to feel, but <laughs> terrible. I, I think I would go with terrible, because that, that sounds yeah. like it sucks. Yeah, um, I have to go have a seat after that. <laughs> Starland is like the one venue that I have not been to, and I've been, obviously I also live in Jersey, but that's like the one venue I haven't hit up. I always go to Philly shows, so mm. I find myself in Philly more often. But anyway, next question, guys. Favorite TV show, favorite movie? Oh, this is man. the best. This is the best interview well, ever. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, favorite TV show? I'm going to have to say, like... Damn it. <laughs> First you think about, like, TV shows that you're like, oh, that's, like, favorite of all time. And then you think of ones that are just, like... But that might be like my current favorite. I don't know. Well, I, I would say I would say you go first. Across the board, every single time, always sunny in Philadelphia. Like a, any episode, like um, that. Anything, just if I want to see a funny thing, I'll go right to that. <laughs> that's, that's for me. Movie, I don't know yet. <laughs> I think like the easiest thing to say for me in terms of favorite shows. I mean, I would say Community, but I nice. But okay. I'm going to say it's that in in lieu of community, I'm gonna say Twin Peaks. Okay. It's infinitely rewatchable for me, and my favorite movie of all time is Interstellar. That made me nice. cry. Okay. Like four times. <laughs> you know, I mean, like four times during the movie. During the movie, yeah. Five hour movie. Exactly. <laughs> for me, I love Rick and Morty. Yes. I, nice. I, we watched both seasons. Like sit down. It was one of the only shows I was able to like binge watch and not be like, yeah, I need a break. Like, I was able to watch oh, yeah. episode one, season one, to the last episode of season two, and just not move. <laughs> and then for favorite movie, anything, any Star Wars movie. I will nice. Watch. Except Classic. Attack the Clones. I will not watch <laughs> Even Phantom Menace, you like that I'll one? watch Phantom Menace. You like that one? I don't Phantom love it, Day. but I'll watch it over Attack of the Clones. <laughs> If I'm with a group of friends, they're like, hey, let's watch The Phantom Menace. I'll be like, oh, all right. But if they're like, let's watch Attack of the Clones. You're like, like no. I got to go. leave. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I got to go drink some bleach. <laughs> <laughs> do literally anything else except for watch Attack of the Clones. <laughs> <laughs> Twin Peaks is high up there for me, too. Okay. If you didn't say it already, I would have said that was my favorite. But another show I watched recently that I really, really enjoyed that's definitely up there 
at least in the top five, maybe top three. Sherlock. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Very good. I still got to watch that at your uh, recommendation. <laughs> and movie, uh, if he didn't say it, I would have also said Interstellar. It's high up there. From the okay. Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> favorite that movie, a, too? Yeah. An old classic. It is also my favorite movie. Yeah, I think it's like it has, you know what I mean? We kind of like, like it kind of like bonds us together. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's yeah. one of those things. We like shared. We shared. We okay. shared that. Yeah. Shared a moment in I Interstellar. Saw, I think I saw that like six or seven times in the theater. Holy shit! I loved yeah. it so much. Yeah, it was so. I don't, I don't care what people say. They're like, oh, it's Nolan's sloppiest oh, movie. Shit. I disagree. <laughs> Interstellar concept album. I mean, if you have there, like, you go. Five hundred thousand dollars to add all the stuff that we need. <laughs> you know what I mean? Meaning it would be, it would not only be an album, it would like have like a, like a, I don't know, I'm trying to think, like a, like a projector kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Like projected so much stuff in the movie, like a, a video that you have to play on projector. Yeah, there you go. And you have to make the album as long as the movie, so like five yeah, hours. You have to come up with like five hours worth of music at least. Right, right. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You play it, you play it, and it sinks to the <laughs> Just like an hour and a half is just silent. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or just ambient noise. It's just like oh man, just like a ton of effects on it. That'd be hilarious. Right, right, right. Anyway, last thing, guys, tell them about your bands, where they can find your music, anything coming up. Let them know what's going on. Oh okay. Um, well, you can catch us on uh, Facebook.com/slash/gsdebut. Um, that's like I guess our hub <laughs> and then for our band camp to actually listen to our music um oh so sweet dot band okay which is simple enough and i mean we don't really have anything particular we just kind of we just hopped on that one show in clifton i mean are we actually playing it I are you guys, are you guys i haven't confirmed I mean, with him yet but i'm, I'm probably fine with it yeah, it's i'm pretty Saturday sure we're gonna be on it, it. <laughs> playing that show now. We're just <laughs> Deciding right now. <laughs> You're like, uh, I don't know, man. You know, play your show, yeah. Yeah. So what? What show is that? Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's, it's, it's like a little... punk rock, like turkey day or Tur something. Like. Turkey ass. Okay. Okay. I can rock with that. I like yeah, that. Well, we're gonna put it up real quick. Yeah. I mean, we don't have a time limit, do we? We no, no time okay. limit. No All right, so we're just gonna oh, sit wait. here. We're just gonna sit here in silence. Um, next. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, do you guys have a YouTube channel that I could link by chance? Yes, yes, we do. Uh, okay. We just put a live video on there for the first time in like four years. Oh, uh, okay. And so it is, I, I think it's also GS Debut is our um, punk, it's right there, the title of it. There. Okay, it is the Punk Rock Turkey Day Bash with Casual Friday, which I think is another band. That's in Clifton. <laughs> okay. I'm sure if you search it. It'll, you know, it'll come up. Yeah. There yeah. you go. So, Punk Rock Turkey Day Bash with Casual Friday for there all those watching this video. And, and that's the Saturday after Black Friday. Okay. Yeah. And, um, okay. yeah, we have, I think our YouTube is GS Debut also. Awesome. And we have a video of us playing a song. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, a song that's not on our EP. Yeah, it's not on our EP. It's We're like, like yeah. Music. Within, okay, within the coming year, we want to, like, um, well, you know, in the next month or two, I guess we want to like hop and we have to. We're we're doing a split with this band called Textbook Fascist okay. from uh, Virginia that kind of went on hold for a while after like my house burned down. So we like kind of want to go in and then start working on that, and then you know, full length, whatever. So gotcha. We have stuff loosely. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'd like to thank GSD for being on, of course. Um, all applicable, <laughs> all applicable links are in the description. So definitely go check them out. Go subscribe to your YouTube channel. Go check out their new track. Um, make sure to hit the subscribe on here. Hit the thumbs up on here. I don't know when this video is going out, but we also have shirts. We will probably have shirts the second round when this video comes out. So we'll be making new shirts. So that's awesome. And we just made a new website. So you can check us out at audioaddictionmedia.com so you can get all of the stuff that you see on here on the website so yeah, do it awesome look it thanks right now. look at right now <laughs> thanks gsd for being on and we'll talk to you later peace thank you hey guys hope you enjoyed the video 
Uh, thanks for watching. Of course, uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews, we do band interviews, and we do live videos. So definitely go check that out. Um, hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media. That's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that, which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us, guys. Talk to you later. Deuces.